internal dialogue, so you just might learn something. All right, so we're going to crack right into it. Again, if I haven't said it, please like, comment, and or subscribe. Any of those supposedly makes this easier on the whole YouTube thing, so appreciate it. All right, we're up to 125. All right, and it's actually feeling a little bit warmer. Uh, what you missed before when I cleared the space on my phone so I could actually film this is that I messed up a bunch of times and my hands were kind of choppy and I was still figuring out how he's doing this one particular lick he said was 20 second note so I'm still wrapping my head around the whole idea of a 20 second note in and of itself all right let alone playing it but uh, I might modify things a little bit just get back to playing now. so bitching it's because it's a EVH head lunchbox head 15 watt and then I'm plugged into my 4x12 which is actually kind of funny and of course I'm playing a Charvel Mexican super strat fucking hola senor entire lick there's one arpeggio that's bothering me and it seems like everything else flows pretty nicely and that's this one particular arpeggio so um, my hands are warming up ideally you have a coffee when you do this and you're like throwing back the caffeine and you're also heating up your hands at the same time because you got a nice warm mug like giving it a hug and uh, that's really helpful but you know quick caffeine and um, I suppose I could have still like a warm vessel to, to get my hands going, but I also like to just take breaks in between. That's when I get to run my inner dialogue, ask you to like, comment, and or subscribe. And um, there was something else I was thinking of, but maybe it'll come to me. I'm going to try to get that one, that one part isolated. <laughs> just freaking insane they use like high quality brass with a lot of gold content and it just makes the guitars thunder uh, the, the thing I was saying about caffeine is it does actually speed up your fast twitch muscles you know and uh, you find yourself playing a lot faster 
I personally like talk faster when I drink that <laughs> kind of like feel the, the picking that I see out of them you know it's very like and then like gliding you know and uh, I see him do shit like this all the time so it's kind of it's funny to learn one of his lines and get that picking <laughs> into just like one beat, I guess it's like one measure, and then do it like one arpeggio at a time, so I, I recommend that for small, smaller pieces you're trying to work up, just take them bit by bit, it's a, a hell of a lot easier. All right. <laughs> Now I'm, pl I'm playing it faster and cleaner. A lot of people they, they mess up when they try to develop speed is they'll they'll go down. It's like okay, I'm gonna go down in speed to, uh, because I can't play it this fast. But I always go up. And my clients they go up. All right, so that's the way. This is the way. If the notes aren't totally killer, like, yeah, obviously you slow it down, but, you know, keep the metronome where it's at. Because you want to be moving that thing forward. <laughs> second mess there yeah this is good this is gonna take a while but again it's already what's it been like seven or 
10, 10 minutes, yeah. Something like that, um, 11 minutes. Let's just go up to 145. One thing I recommend too, uh, I usually have a mirror I can play in front of because I'm narcissistic. Just kidding, I actually just learned about narcissism and I'm not, you know? But I will happily look at myself. So, jokes aside here, it, it takes a lot of pressure off your neck and it, it helps with your biochemistry. I'm gonna hit you with some more science. Um, you have your shoulders back. It's, it's good for like, uh, confidence, you know, and lowering cortisol, and in increasing testosterone, which, like, let's, let's be real, we are mostly guys here trying to play fast guitar, so, um, you know, there's a couple, couple chicks out there giving us a run for our money, so good for them, but, you know, mostly dudes here, and, uh, yeah, if you, if you can play with your shoulders back, it's going to help you, and, uh, looking at your playing, your fretting hand into a mirror that makes this easier. So I can't do that right now, but it'd be sweet if I can. It'd be a lot cooler if I did. And uh, besides that, uh, let's go for another take. Oh yeah, uh, you notice I have my guitar on my left. Uh, I play guitar left-handed. I say left-handed because my left hand is on the fretboard. All right, so that's actually considered right-handed. But I got my guitar playing right-handed on my left knee, and I think this is this makes my personal posture so much better for playing guitar as opposed to here I like hunch over and do some weird stuff. So this is cool. And, and I actually have my leg up a little higher. So <laughs> So yeah, I'm still having a hard time with these pedgies, you know, but I'm just gonna go up. 
I'm gonna go to 150, you know, and see see how we how we do here. I might stretch my leg even, cause uh, I do lots of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and my body's falling apart. So I like to I like to develop my flexibility to help slow the inevitable de decom deconstruction of my bod. All right, here we go. One, two, three. So I'm getting a lot of extra right hand motion. And this typically happens when you just don't have a lick and you keep pushing the speed. So in that case, the way we like offset that is to spend more time on more isolated movements of the lick. So, so just taking one pedgy at a time. Which, by the way, what time is it? We got plenty of time. But I mean, we have not that much time. <laughs> Which that's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see, but like when I cut out the whole part leading into this uh, this second half of the pedgies, like suddenly I'm starting to click in. I mean, it is because now I've been playing it for 20 minutes straight. You know that's gonna happen. You're gonna your hands gonna wake up, get accustomed to what you're playing. But oh, whatever, man. You know. Uh, it's, it's starting to fall into place, you know? I skipped, I took this part out, you know? You get exhausted if you play too much. So that's why we kind of like split things up and have better results. <laughs> between each, you start to feel your fingers on the fret, pressing each note, you know? And when you can get there, that's how you know you're really solid because all the success is gonna come from leading with your left hand, you know? And so whenever you try to lead with your right, that's when you start to flail a little bit more like I was doing, okay? 155. <laughs> pieces together here, put them together there, put them together there. Make sure you put them together in the exact same way that they're taken apart, you know? I mean, same pick strokes. <laughs> Alright, 
So I don't know where Brandon maxed on this lick, but it was it was pretty up there as I recall. My right leg isn't quite as flexible. We gotta work on that. Alright, ready? Come on, let's see. They don't they don't sit and do stuff like this for an hour, you know? That's that's a big part of it, sitting and doing stuff for an hour. Alright. I'm included in the people that don't do that because I'm about to get on uh, calls with my clients. So actually we'll, what we'll do is what I typically have my clients do, you know, if we work it up, it's all about getting faster than you need it, you know? So let's see how I do at 140. We worked it loosely up to 160, you know, not perfect, but around there. So, so since I gotta get going soon, we'll hear it at 140 and see how it sounds. <laughs> started I was at like 120 right and I couldn't couldn't actually play it at 120 so now it is I worked it all the way up to 160 and then I brought it back down to 140 and then I could play it like kind of kind of all right you know and so like I'll repeat this process when I have time for that maybe I'll even record it again you know it will, it will be like a part two but besides that make sure to uh, check out the shred line district because like I was saying on my other video these looks are insane, super sick stuff. I'm not even going to talk about what the theoretical stuff happening behind this because it's all there. You know, if you want a good explanation of it, you go invest in yourself. Invest in Brandon's knowledge and teaching, wisdom. Super cool guy, super awesome uh, brain. So so go soak it up. All right. And if you, if you want help from me, you know where to find me. Instagram is a good place. You can... But in the meantime, I'm looking to beef up my YouTube, all right? So again, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and or like and or a comment uh, would be super helpful. All right, besides that, enjoy your day. Peace.